Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Gallegos, host of Love of Quilting, and we're here on the set with Maria McKenzie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We wanted to bring you a little web extra. On the episode today that Maria filmed with us, she created these adorable jar blocks, and one of these had little lightning bugs, and she added little hot fix crystals to the sparkly parts of the lightning bugs. So cute, I love that mm -hmm. idea. But she has another option for us to kind of kick it up a notch here, where we've added, ta-da, LED lights. So talk to me a little bit about how you came up with this idea and how we create it. Sure, so when I was envisioning the quilt, I thought, okay, how can we bling this out? And so crystals are an option, mm -hmm. but an, a washable option. Right. This is not a washable option. So if you're gonna use this as a table runner or something, I would encourage you to use the crystals. But if you wanna use it as a wall hanging, this is a great option. So cute. So I went to my local craft store, uh -huh. bought some LED lights. Uh, these are battery operated and also some Velcro and these are specifically for fabric so they okay. actually set up within 24 hours no sewing whatsoever oh, that's and then nice. some, they're sticky right oh yeah and so some eyelets and I got those from the craft department also um, either in the scrapbooking section or the fabric section they sell eyelets okay so here's a little mock-up of the quilt just this block and what I've done is I've pre-cut out the holes and I just kind of followed the line of the lightning bug uh -huh. bottom and we're gonna put the eyelet in and you just kind of push that down into the hole Definitely helps to pre-cut those holes it does. going through all those layers of fabric. Yeah. And this is after we've already quilted the entire thing too, by the way. Correct. Yep. So if you can see, it's kind of poking through on the backside and they have these little eyelet applicators um, and they punch the hole also. Uh -huh. And I kind of use that to work the eyelet to get it started. And then I'll put it on a piece of wood or a piece of cardboard to protect my cutting mat. And right. then if you just want to whack that with the hammer. Oh my gosh, so I don't need that. Just I just whack just it. Whack it. Oh just boy. whack it. That's it. Oh, that, wow, and that was see, very it, easy. It's yeah. already pre-scored um, on the side, so it naturally oh, cool. wants to open up like that. I didn't need to hit it twice. I kind of wanted to, but you didn't, you didn't yeah. have to. <laughs> That's neat. So let's do one more. Okay. Just so that you can get the effect. I'm just gonna pop that guy in there. Oh, that is so neat. And then again, use our little wand. Do you wanna try it? So sure. See? You just yeah. kind of work it in. Oh, okay. Just kind of open it up a little and then whack it with the hammer. Oh my goodness, how fun. There you go. Oh, that is so clever and so fast and easy. So the next step would be to anchor these LED lights on here. So okay. I've used the loop side, the hook side of the Velcro here, and I cut these in half, and I'm just going to place one on either side. It's hard to see, I know, because it's on black, but I'm placing this on either side of that eyelet. Neat. And let's just put both of these on so we have them. Okay. And on the fabric or the soft side of the Velcro, I went ahead and put some black fabric on the back because they're, they have sticky on the back right. of that. So you don't want the sticky all over your hands. So I just put some black fabric on. Literally stuck it on and trimmed around. Exactly. So then I like turning on the lights to test this. Uh -huh. So I'm turning the lights on and then I'm just gonna kind of place that right over that hole that the eyelet created. Mm -hmm. And then the Velcro, so the wire is halfway on the Velcro here, uh -huh. because when we go to put this piece on, we wanna make sure it's in place. Oh, neat. And how we can check that was we'll just flip it over and then look to see if you can see the light. Oh, and in this one, it's a little bit off, uh -huh. so all we have to do is like reposition it and just kinda tweak it like oh, that. That's so cute. Check it again and see it's bright. Oh, nice, that's amazing. So the one thing to keep in mind, depending on the, the type of fabric and how far apart these motifs are, you only have about three inches to play with between the lights themselves. So you okay. wanna poke your holes no more than that because the okay. wire won't stretch. So think about it a little bit before you start poking those holes. Yep, so we'll just set that second one there and lay that right over the top. And there's that. Oh my goodness, so cute. And you can put as many or as few as you like. This particular line has 20 lights, mm -hmm. so you could do pretty much all of them if you wanted to. Oh, that's so fun. Mm -hmm. Well, what, a, what an inventive idea and a fun way to combine crafting and sewing. I love it. Thanks. Thanks so much for sharing, and thanks for watching.